are in an unprecedented year of innovation and competition. To start things off, we have an exciting and long-awaited showdown between the two titans of the industry, Blue Origin and SpaceX, represented by their flagship projects New Glenn and Starship. The edge for Jeff Bezos and his team lies in their plans to launch New Glenn sooner, taking the lead in challenging SpaceX. But what comes next? Can this head start help Blue Origin outpace SpaceX? Let's explore the possibilities on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The year 2024 has been somewhat disappointing for Blue Origin, as the company spent the entire year preparing for its first orbital launch without achieving liftoff. However, in the closing days of the year, they managed to complete a critical hot fire test, keeping hope alive for their long-awaited debut. With this preparation, Blue Origin is now closer than ever to achieving their first orbital launch. While they have yet to make an official announcement regarding the launch date, FAA documents indicate that it is scheduled for January 6th of 2025, with a backup date of January 7th. This timeline positions New Glenn as the first new rocket to launch in 2025. This scheduling also gives Blue Origin a noteworthy advantage. Their planned launch date precedes SpaceX's Starship Flight 7, which according to Elon Musk is slated for January 10th. Launching ahead of SpaceX offers Blue Origin a strategic edge as it allows them to capture the spotlight and make a significant impression before being overshadowed by the highly publicized Starship mission. A later launch date could have led New Glenn to be eclipsed by SpaceX's groundbreaking endeavors. Blue Origin is not only focusing on the timing of the launch but also on making a bold statement with the mission itself. The debut flight will carry the Blue Ring payload, a daring decision for a new rocket. By launching a payload on its first flight, Blue Origin aims to demonstrate confidence in New Glenn's capabilities and secure government and military launch certifications. This strategy contrasts with SpaceX, which waited until Flight 6 of Starship to include its first payload. Another ambitious element of this debut mission is Blue Origin's plan to recover the New Glenn booster via their Jacqueline drone ship. The drone ship has already been moved offshore in preparation for this critical milestone. Successfully recovering the booster on the first flight would be a remarkable achievement, especially considering that SpaceX took several years after Falcon 9's debut to perfect booster landings and only recently achieved this with Starship in Flight 5. If Blue Origin succeeds in its ambitious goals, launching on schedule, delivering its payload, and recovering the booster, it will mark an extraordinary debut for New Glenn. Such a performance would place Blue Origin as a serious contender in the orbital launch market and a formidable rival to SpaceX. As we approach the launch window on January 6th or 7th, all eyes will be on New Glenn's debut. Will it live up to expectations and outshine SpaceX's efforts? Share your predictions in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for ongoing coverage of SpaceX and its competitors in the dynamic world of space exploration. In my honest and humble opinion, the answer is a resounding no. Blue Origin's New Glenn 1, while ambitious, is unlikely to surpass SpaceX's Starship Flight 7, whether it be in terms of technical achievements or long-term impact. Blue Origin's plans for New Glenn 1 demonstrate ambition but come with significant risks. The inclusion of payloads on its maiden flight is a bold move, particularly since the rocket and the organization have yet to achieve orbital success. While this might aim to showcase confidence in their technology, it also raises the stakes. If the mission fails and payloads are damaged, it could tarnish Blue Origin's reputation and complicate future certification efforts. The example of ULA's Vulcan Centaur highlights how setbacks like this can cause cascading delays, potentially impacting Blue Origin's broader objectives. Meanwhile, SpaceX's approach with Starship Flight 7 is equally audacious, but rests on a foundation of proven innovation and iterative success. SpaceX plans to once again catch the Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla arm, a groundbreaking feat that only they have achieved. This method is not just visually impressive, it holds immense operational advantages by allowing faster recovery and reuse of the booster. While the upper stage of Starship will still perform an ocean landing during this flight, this step is part of a measured progression toward full reusability. 
Even if Starship Flight 7 launches later than New Glenn 1, its technological achievements and SpaceX's reputation for excellence are likely to command greater attention and acclaim. New Glenn's debut carries additional risks due to the ambitious goals attached to it. The plan to, to launch payloads like the Blue Ring on a maiden flight, coupled with the intent to land the booster on a drone ship, demonstrates confidence but amplifies the potential for setbacks. This is considered bold due to the fact that SpaceX took years to achieve similar milestones after Falcon 9's debut. New Glenn's first mission will also test the Jacklin drone ship's capabilities, aiming for a booster recovery on its very first attempt. If these objectives are not met, the mission could face harsh scrutiny, creating further delays and challenges for Blue Origin. But on the other hand, SpaceX is leveraging its extensive experience to push the boundaries of Starship's capabilities. The company's methodical approach with gradual advancements across flights minimizes the risks associated with high-stakes launches. By catching the Super Heavy booster and refining Starship's systems, SpaceX is paving the way for a fully reusable rocket system. Starship's iterative development ensures that known issues are addressed systematically, reducing the likelihood of catastrophic failures. Looking at the long-term competition, it is clear that SpaceX holds significant advantages. Blue Origin aims to conduct 25 New Glenn launches in all of 2025, a goal that appears overly ambitious given the delays already experienced with its maiden flight. These launches are crucial for Blue Origin to establish itself as a reliable provider for missions like NASA's Escapade, Amazon's Kuiper Satellite Program, and various government contracts. However, any delays or failures in New Glenn's early missions could create a backlog, straining Blue Origin's ability to meet its commitments and eroding partner confidence. In contrast, SpaceX has already set the stage for a rapid cadence of Starship launches in 2025, also targeting 25 missions. The company's plans including, include refining Starship's reusability, deploying payloads, and developing in-orbit refueling systems. Unlike Blue Origin, SpaceX's transparency and rapid iteration allow them to identify and address issues swiftly, keeping them ahead in the launch race. While New Glenn 1 is attempting to prove its capabilities, Starship is already operating on a higher plane of technical achievement. When comparing the rockets themselves, Starship outclasses New Glenn in nearly every aspect. At 124.4 meters tall, Starship V2 dwarfs New Glenn's 98 meters. Starship's thrust of 7,500 tons far exceeds New Glenn's 1,750, powered by seven BE-4 engines. This immense thrust capacity enables Starship to carry payloads of up to 100 to 200 tons to low Earth orbit, compared to New Glenn's maximum of 45. The disparity in performance underscores Starship's suitability for ambitious missions from lunar landings to Mars colonization. Starship's design philosophy also prioritizes full reusability, a game-changing feature in spaceflight. SpaceX is actively developing methods to recover and reuse both stages of the rocket along with its heat shield and fairings. This approach significantly reduces production costs and makes frequent launches economically viable. In contrast, New Glenn is only partially reusable, with no clear plans for recovering its second stage or fairings. This limitation places New Glenn on par with older generation rockets like the Falcon 9, which, while impressive, cannot match Starship's transformative potential. The broader aerospace industry landscape further highlights SpaceX's advantages. Federal agencies, particularly NASA, are increasingly favoring innovative and cost-effective solutions, aligning perfectly with SpaceX's strengths. NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman recently emphasized the importance of rewarding companies that deliver the best products at the lowest costs. SpaceX's proven track record of innovation and timely delivery positions them as a preferred partner for future missions. While Blue Origin remains a contender, its lack of unique capabilities compared to Starship limits its appeal. New Glenn's performance metrics, while respectable, are not groundbreaking, making it less attractive for high-stakes missions. In contrast, Starship's unmatched capabilities and cost-effectiveness make it the go-to choice for ambitious projects, including lunar and Mars exploration. Additionally, SpaceX enjoys strong support from NASA's leadership. 
Isaac Men's close relationship with SpaceX and his potential involvement in future Starship missions, such as the Polaris Dawn projects, underscores the agency's confidence in the company. This alignment of interests further solidifies SpaceX's position as the industry leader. So, if it's difficult for New Glenn to compete with Starship, how does it fare with other rockets? While New Glenn offers capabilities similar to Falcon rockets, it may even surpass them in certain metrics. The prospect of it outpacing SpaceX's fleet seems highly unlikely. As of the end of 2024, SpaceX had completed 132 Falcon 9 flights and two Falcon Heavy launches, setting numerous records for launches, landings, and reusability. With an ambitious target of over 180 launches for 2025, SpaceX continues to dominate the market, Unless the Falcon rockets experience a significant decline, New Glenn will struggle to find a competitive edge. The challenge isn't limited to SpaceX. Other companies also pose significant competition to Blue Origin. For instance, Rocket Lab, despite being a smaller player, has shown remarkable progress in recent years with its Electron rocket. Their upcoming Neutron rocket is poised to enhance their capabilities further, introducing even greater competition in the industry. For Blue Origin, surpassing Rocket Lab itself might prove to be a significant hurdle, let alone competing with SpaceX. Even if New Glenn successfully reaches orbit, the path ahead for Blue Origin remains daunting. Established competitors have solidified their positions in the aerospace sector. While Blue Origin's capabilities still reflect the early stages of their journey, SpaceX, the primary rival that Blue Origin aims to challenge, appears to be an insurmountable force for now. Focusing on overcoming smaller, incremental challenges may be a more realistic and attainable approach for Blue Origin at this stage. Do you agree? Let me know what you think, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.